Hello everyone, welcome back to the session of ARIMA. Now we will discuss the moving average process that is the second component of ARIMA moving average process. Remember in different type of moving average model of time series data when we discussed simple moving average, weighted moving average and say exponential moving average that concept was different. There we used the older time series data, older periods data, actual data. But in this moving average process of ARIMA, we will not use the actual data of time series, we will use only the error term. Look at the moving average model uses the past forecast error values, error terms, the white noises and weights of past error to forecast the future time series data. So therefore, this is the fundamental concept of moving average process or say moving average model of ARIMA than the previous basic moving average models. Here we do not use the past data, here we use only the error term. Now the question here is that how that error term will be used or will be calculated and to be integrated in this moving average process of ARIMA model or ARIMA model. Let us understand that. Similar like AR process, we have completed the AR process. In AR process, we use the actual data, right? And we take a combination of them and regress the data with your own past data. That is what the basic AR process, auto regressive process. But here we do not do the regression. Here we use simple weighted combination of the error terms. Now, how you will calculate the error terms? Let us understand with some basic understanding or basic example. Suppose you have a time series data say Y, right? Say Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5, Y6, Y7, Y8 like this, 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 right? These are your time series data. We will not use this data to calculate your forecast of MA process. But in AR process, we have used this data and we have used the auto regressive, auto regressive model. Just now we have discussed, right? So now in this session, let us focus about the MA calculation process. First, you calculate the average of the data. Look at that, why mean the average of the data that you can calculate of the data here say you will get the y mean say. The average of the data of all these data you take and take the calculate the average. This data will be used to the error terms, right. And then what you do? Suppose you calculate the error, whichever method you follow maybe basic any basic time series model you can use and you can calculate the error terms here. Error 2, error 3, error 4, error 5, error 6, error 7, error 8 like this uh, you know these errors you can calculate using any past forecast and then the, the, the difference between the forecast and the current value. These errors will be used to calculate the forecast of MA process. But here we will use some trick to find the moving average steps in an iterative process right. But you can follow some past model and to calculate the error. This, these errors will be used to make a forecast. Remember here only the error terms and these errors are to some extent they are follow, they are independent to each other because they follow no identically normally distributed distribution. So they are the white noises. But the question here is that how we will use these errors in your, in your formula. There are two ways, one is that you can use these errors by using some, you can calculate these errors by some past method. You can take the actual time series data and any method you can follow and you can calculate the error. These errors you can use your with your average data and you can calculate this forecast. Maybe one period or error, the one lakh error, just only one previous period you will consider or maybe two period of error you can consider, two lakh of error you can consider and you can take a weighted combination of them. You can take three period error with your mean that up to you and that optimum value of order, order of a MA process, the Q value that we will decide later, we will discuss that later, how to select the order of a MA process. But for the timing, let us understand how the MA process works. Now here we will use some different method which is very interesting as well as more you know accurate. Now let us see how this formula work for one period of lag or say two period of lag or say three period of lag. Suppose here we would like to calculate the forecast, right? Here we would like to calculate the forecast. So say, say we will calculate say one period of forecast. In that case, your calculation will be say y bar, say this mean value, y bar plus say another weight, suppose weight, suppose weight is say gamma, this weight gamma into this error. This is your new forecast, this is your new forecast. Now for the second period, what would be your forecast say? 
it would be y bar as it is plus gamma into error 2 dot 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 dot. Suppose now you want to make forecast a y7, y7 forecast it will be y mean plus gamma into error 6. y8 you would like to forecast y8 it would be y mean plus gamma into error 7. You drag it because one period forecast you are doing, one period forecast you are making. So, this is what the forecast of moving average process. Now, suppose you would like to forecast say two period combination like lag of two, lag of two you want to consider say. In that case, how you will use the formula? Suppose you would like to consider two period, two past error you will have to count in your weighted moving average process. So, in that case, here your forecast will be, uh, let me you know uh, delete this say, say average you have already calculated say average y bar you have already calculated say or y mean whatever. Now, the forecast of this formula will be calculated y mean plus say gamma 1 into say epsilon 1 plus gamma 2 epsilon 2. So, two period combinations will come here to make the forecast. So, third period onwards your forecast will start. So, effectively it will start from y3 forecast will be y bar plus gamma 1 into I would write the immediate period it would be say you know error 2 plus gamma 2 error 1. Why I am telling? Because the error are being calculated from the back side. So, effectively the formula will be y t forecast will be y bar plus say you know so, suppose you are at 6th period say say 6th period in that case it would be gamma 1 maybe whatever the notation of immediate say y epsilon 5 or error 5 plus gamma 2 of error 4. This way you can define your forecast model for 2 period like the same logic you can use. Now, suppose y7 you have to like to forecast it would be y mean plus gamma 1 that the, in that case you have to calculate optimize gamma 1 and gamma 2. How the weightage weights, how the weights will be optimized that I will tell you later. Like in solver we have optimized in moving average process. So, same, same logic will be used to optimize the weights. Here for single variable, single uh, point error or only lag 1 in that case your gamma will be only one value that you have to optimize. Look at the combination here. Let me use another pen you will get to know say this one. So, look at this. This forecast are your 1 lakh forecast 1 lakh q equals to 1. Now, here we are using q equals to 2. So, that concept is here 2 weighted combination you require. So, 2 weights will optimize for the time being we are assuming gamma 1 and gamma 2 and look at the formula. If you drag it in that case what would be your y what would be your y t y 7 say y bar y bar plus gamma 1 this optimum value or weights into the immediate past weight. What is the immediate past weight? Y error 6 plus gamma 2 this error into one period older error. So, it is gamma error 5 and you drag it wherever look at this y 6 5 and 4 are has come now for y 7 6 error 6 and error 5 are there. So, all listed all are listed here in excel I will show you the calculation process and you drag it you will find the general formula y general y t hat equals to y bar plus gamma 1 into immediate older period plus one period another combination of on another older error. So, these are called lack of errors. Similarly, if you look to calculate the forecast for say you know three period combination of errors and the moving average process in that case your forecast will be y bar or y mean plus gamma 1 into error on immediate error. So, suppose y 10 if you like to forecast y 10 in that case it would be 9 this will be 9 error 9 this will be error 8 this will be error 7 and this combination weighted combination with mean is your forecast for y 10 you drag it. So, this is what the concept of moving average process. Now, remember one more point here in AR process remember the AR process AR process say 1 or 2 whatever you can take. So, you had the data and y 1, y 2, y 3, y 4 like actual data and there you are taking combination in terms of regression value right. 
say you know alpha plus beta y t minus 1 say y t forecast equals to say 1 period say. So, these are irrigation value intercept and slope and therefore, this is a intercept value, but here remember you are not doing any regression. Let me come back here this is very crucial point here you are not doing any regression here you are taking the weighted combination these are the weights these are the weights right maybe 1 lakh of weighted combination and 2 lakh 3 lakh etc depend on your order selection of MA process that we will discuss later. But remember since these are the error term and error term are the mean of the error term are closer to 0 therefore, this should be very high value like not the intercept value of AR process. And then only you will be able to make actual forecast because say TCS remember the TCS stock price example 3500 suppose in that case this error may be maybe 23 maybe 20 minus 25 plus 25 kind of thing. So, that cannot give you your forecast. So, therefore, you need to add the weighted combination maybe 1 period, 2 period, 3 period of error with your mean data. So, that you can get a accurate forecast through moving average process also. Remember, error process is different, moving average process is different. You can use any one of them depending on your data pattern and the requirement or the instruction, right. So, this is what the MA process. Now, let us understand this MA process through one example. With the same TCS data, we will take and for one period of illustration of error or say you know lag we will consider right and you can extend the concept same as it is like here I have explained remember this slide this if you can consider two period of combination then you have to optimize two error two weights. But for single weight single lag q equals to 1 let us first understand the formula right. Generally more than one period of two period of lag people do not consider one period two period for AR process or even for MA process also. So, it's a, it's a just extension let's let us understand the basic one period or one lakh of ma process so this is the formula then right one lakh only one lakh this is the weight right and these are the errors so these errors you can calculate th through any for process but here as i mentioned we'll use some trick to calculate the error and in a iterative process we'll calculate our forecast of ma process now look at the first point calculate your average data the mean this is what your mean data, mean data say or y mean say whatever mean data you can take the data 3 months data we had and you can take the average store it. Now, you have to add that the with this weighted combination now how will calculate this weight remember the excel in moving average process same concept we will use here, but first you have to calculate the weight also right. Initially what we will do look at the steps first step. So, here what you do initially look at the weight here this weight will optimize this will optimize later initially suppose you have assumed 0.5 what is the best weight that we will see through solver. Now, what is the first forecast initially we have assumed that let us see the understanding initially we have assumed that the residual the error is 0. So, if the error is 0 the initial forecast will be 3541 say y mean y mean plus say 50 percent gamma into error right. So, in that case it would be y mean plus gamma is a 0.5 into error is 0. So, this is your first forecast that we found in the next rows here that would be forecast for the next period that would be a forecast for the next period. And then using this forecast value this forecast value what you do you calculate the error residual again the next residual initially you have assumed 0 that is that is sufficient to start your iterative process to end the forecasting with procedures of MA process. Now, initially you have considered 0 and then you have taken the weighted combination mean plus weight into zero error. So, you will get the forecast this forecast you write here and then you take the difference between this and this this forecast and these values you take the difference. This difference you write here. And then now you will get a error now residual now again you calculate the formula this weighted combination formula y bar plus gamma this gamma into this residual now you will get the new forecast suppose if it is a y 1 then this is now y 2 forecast and you drag it the process. So, error in an iterative process error error forecast error forecast error forecast error and the weighted combination are coming in. Now, the question is that sir what is the best weight how will get the forecast we understood but what is our best weight so that we, we may get the best forecast in future also 
that we are going to discuss now look at drag that drag down the forecast till the end you will get the forecast process right in excel also i'll show you now come here the optimization of the weight right that is the main that is the main part now now what you have to do how will you optimize the uh, weights remember the rmec calculation in different models of time series that you have to recall so you what you do based on these errors come here based on this error say these errors look at the errors the residuals you take the square and then the mean square error and then the rmsc calculate the rmsc look at here the steps i have mentioned take the residuals all this say 60 data residuals and then then take the square and then the you know sum of square and then the by say 58 or whatever of the data point are there then square root of it so you will get the rmsc simple rmsc calculation session you can go back and you can check and that rmsc you optimize you have to minimize it right you have to minimize the rmsc so that you will get the best weight that's it you will get the final weight and the corresponding for automatic iterative process it will be done the best combination will be done by the software or solver itself let's understand how look at this just you have to optimize the cell and you have to find the optimum of nonlinear equation because rmsc is a square root so it's a nonlinear let's see how does it work so come here so here you can see i believe you can see the excel here we have the actual data and then we have taken the mean of the data let me go back to the top here you can see the mean of the data right so y mean or y bar is there now initial residual we have assumed zero so if initial and the weight is here say weight look at the weight suppose initially you keep the weight whatever it's a 0.5 now what is the first forecast this is the first forecast for the second period say immediate next period so the mean look at the mean average plus this so i can show you the calculation here also suppose here the calculation will be mean value plus weight gamma into this is your gamma into the residual the error the previous error one period combination we are doing right so our forecast will be y bar equals to y mean y forecast y hat equals to y mean or y bar plus gamma into epsilon t say error t so this is what your forecast right t minus 1 so this is the logic now suppose say y1 y2 say forecast will be y bar plus gamma this gamma into error 1 and you drag this this is what we are doing into this so here is your forecast now look at the forecast this one now you freeze this and you drag the formula you will get the inter calculation has been done now suppose you got the forecast right so what will be your error now for that period error error will be actual minus forecast this table seven you want to understand because we have taken the data from the tcs from the direct nsc side so therefore different table six table seven table six table 16 are coming in different uh, illustration so don't be confused about that so now here you can see the forecast so this is what the forecast look at this and these are same so this is what your forecast error now you have the new error now you calculate the forecast for the next period the forecast for the next period will be mean plus weight into the new error new residual this one you will get the forecast for the next period again you calculate the residual and then again you multiply with the weighted average of with the average value mean value you will get the forecast so drag this process we have done it and we found the overall forecast here these are the forecast column but now the question is that this weight optimization right how will optimize this weight look at the rms we have calculated look at the mean of square error and then and then the rms is square root of it by we have taken the mean 61 data we had and then we have taken the rms square root so this will will minimize where is the error total error should be minimum for given weight so what is the weight what is the gamma value right that we will have to optimize go to data as i discussed in detail of you know error calculation session go to solver look at what you do you don't have to put any condition also here it's a unconstant optimization this case you can put condition but it do not make any changes in your output process so here which cell you want to optimize this say RMSC, right? So let me delete it. You will get to know. 
So this RMSE you will have to minimize, right? Total error should be minimum. It's a minimization, it's not a maximization. It's a minimization problem. And which cell you will have to optimize, you have to fight the gamma value, right? The weight of your moving average model of order 1, of lag 1, of error 1. So you don't need to put any condition here because you ask constant, you can put a range, say 0 to 1, whatever you want, but no need to put condition here, the system will optimize with the best weight. Now, since it's a weighted moving average, so you don't need to carry forward the constant there. Just solve it, it's a non-linear, remember, it's a non-linear problem, just click it, just solve it. Weight can be positive, negative, anything, so we are not clicking that, we are just solving it. Done. We found 0.89 as the weight, gamma, with these data sets of TCS, and this is the forecast, here you can see the forecast value also. And corresponding least RMEC and the weight. You change the weight, you will have to see it, just change the weight, say 0 0.2, we will put 0 0.2 now, look at 0 0.2 we have given and we got the new forecast say, but if you want to optimize it, just select it, go to data, the formula has been already incorporated, just solve it, again it is coming back to 0 0.99, so this is the optimum weight and for this particular data for moving average process of ARMA, this is what the ARMA process. I believe it is clear to everybody. Now let us come back to PPT now. I believe it is clear to everybody the MA process. Let us understand the final prediction. So final prediction will be average value plus weight into the forecast. You drag it for any period you can calculate it, right. This is the forecast. But the next question is that, sir, how many error term you will have to consider? Here you have considered the order is 1. If I would like to consider my order 2, then one more error term will come, like one more optimum value will come gamma. This may be gamma 1, then gamma 2 into error 2. So that how will optimize? The process, like optimization process, you can do as it is. Or you can add one more weight here and you can optimize both like, you know, a RMAC calculation process or weighted cal weight calculation process. You can consider gamma 1, gamma 2, two parameter you can optimize in your, in this cell. Here you can select both the variable and you can take the weighted combination of older, two older data, two older residual. But the point here is that how to select the order, whether it is a one order, two order, the, what is the best order, that we will discuss through SCF and PSF. But weighted combination you can consider like two period, in case you would like to forecast a, let me tell you here, in case you would like to forecast say y t plus 1 of say two period, so 3, 5, 4, 1 plus say gamma 1, in that case your weight will change, gamma 1 into say the two error you will have to consider, so these two error will come into say 51.25 plus gamma 2 into minus 3.35. So this, that forecast will give you, if it is 1, 2, 3, then say 4, so y4 you will get. Now for y5, forecast this plus as it is plus gamma 1, that you have to optimize gamma 1 and gamma 2 you have to optimize here. So j3 and say j4, you will optimize it, two, because two past lack of error you are considering into in that case you know now for y5 you will have to consider these two 34 error 34 plus gamma 2 into error say 51 drag it same logic just only two error you have considered or say included in your MA process because you have considered MA process of order 2 lag 2 and formula will remain same just you optimize your weight might change, might change and you drag it, minimize your RMAC, same formula, you just extend it with one more combination of your weight. I do not want to discuss that. What important to discuss is that the order selection. How big of Q you should consider? Only one period, two period, three period. Like the in AR process, we have discussed detail of this selection process. Here also you need to understand. Remember here, you need SCF and PSCF. That we have discussed, you can refer to that session, what is SCF, what is PSCF. SCF is nothing but the actual data and their correlation, right. PSCF is what? PSF is the partial correlation. Now, if you draw your SCF graph here, say time lag, say, and this is your sub SCF, you know the graph, right. You know the graph like this. This what? Lag, say, 1, lag, 2, lag, 3, lag, 4, lag, 5, like this. And if you draw your PSCF, PSCF, in that case, you know, it could be like this, say, you know how to calculate it. This is your partial autocorrelation. Partial, not the actual, only the 
actual impact of older data in your current data. So if it is a time series data y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 like this. So impact of y3 on y5 will be counted by removing or eliminating the impact of y4. So this is for the partial. But SEIB is a direct correlation. So this is to some extent not correct for AR model. Because AR model is a real regression with your older data. Remember AR model? AR models of order 2 say it will be like say alpha plus beta 1 into y1 plus beta 2 into y2, right? Y, uh, t minus 2, t minus 1, whatever we can consider yt say forecast. So you can remember the forecast. These are actual older data of time series, actual older data of time series, but you are taking their combination through regression, right? Not combination, through regression. So since you are doing a multiple regression, you need the actual impact of that because all them are considered as independent variable. So therefore, it should be a partial correlation, actual correlation you need to calculate, otherwise multiple will come, we have discussed detail. But in MA process, you have to take other way. Remember in AR process, your SEF will be exponential decay and PSA will have a clear cutoff. PSA will have a clear cutoff, remember, will be clear cutoff. It will be falling under band line, inside the band line. So you can select the order, say P equals to 2 in AR process because you have to select the final P from your PSA model which is the actual partial correlation and there will be clear cutoff but SEF will be exponential decay. But in moving average it is other way. The reason is that moving average process your PSEF will have exponential decay but your SEF will have a clear cutoff. Your SEF will have a clear cutoff interestingly. The reason here is that you do not need to select the PSEF to find your final Q, final Q selection you can do it from a SEF graph, you do not need to go to PSEF because here you have the error term, right? You have the error term in your model in MA process. Since errors are already independent, they are not related to each other and their mean is to some closure to 0 and they are identically independent distributed random variables. Therefore, you do not need to go to the PSEF, you do not need to calculate the PSEF. From SEF, you can directly calculate their pattern and then you can select what will be your Q. In that case, if you find say say 2 lakh positive let's say clearly visible standing line may be positive or may be negative depending on your data sets, then you select Q equals to 2. If you find only 1 lakh Q equals to 2, if you find only 1 lakh, then you select Q equals to 1. You do not need to see the PSF. But the pattern, the data sets, the past experience of this MA model says that your PSF will have exponential decay completely other in reverse. Your PSF will have exponential decay interestingly and SCF will have a clear cut of 1 or 2. If this situation occurs, then only you select the MA model and the error term and the MA process which I have explained so far. I believe it is clear to everybody. Now let me summarize it, the two process. Here couple of example. Suppose take the first example, AR process and MA process both we will discuss. AR to summarize the model, two model and MA. This graph I have kept both in the correlogram, both SCF and PSF put together, right, in the same graph. Now, in this case, look at the black one is a representative of SCF and white one is a representative of PSF, right. So, just note down it. So, black cells like black, black lines, the standing lines represent the SCF. So, here you can see they have a exponential decay. Look at the band line here, look at the band line here. You can put, define your epsilon, the range through which inside which that your values will fall. If the values fall, then that will be a cutoff point. Your SCF has exponential decay. But look at the PSF, look at the PSF, the white one. Only one positive standing line here, there are only one lakh. After that, look at here, closure to zero, look at closure to zero. So there is a clear cutoff in your PSF. So if SCF has exponential decay and PSF has a clear cutoff, here only, only one standing line you can see, you know what will be the order of AR model, this is AR model because PSEF has a cutoff and SCF has a exponential decay. So it will be AR model if the data pattern follow like that, correlogram diagram follow like that, in software you can draw it, it will like or how to draw it that also I have discussed in the first session of SCF and PSEF calculation, it will be AR model of order 1 because one standing line of PSEF you are getting, PSEF you are getting just only one positive standing line or say clearly it can be negative also, one standing line be clearly visible standing line above your band line. So, yes, ER model 1. Now, look at the second graph. Look at this graph. Here, the black one is your SCF and white one is your PSF. Look at the PSF data in an alternative manner, it is exponential decay. Look at white one is your PSF. 
so PSCF has exponential decay but ACF has a clear cut up only two point cut up look at two maybe negative this is negative but it can be data could be like that where you know error term or positive negative it is coming in this way or data are behaving like that way like you know one if some, some someone's some company's performance comes in this quarter positive in next quarter it comes negative suppose this type of data or maybe someone's some actor's movie if this movie gets hit the next movie get flop whatever the example you can take suppose the data pattern are following like seasonality or some sort of different uh, behavior so in that case your data could be negative also correlation could be negative also these are only correlation or, or partial correlation right so but it's in auto data therefore you call it your auto correlation or auto partial correlation now SCF you can see here two standing line so here you can see SCF has a two clear cut up but PSCF has a exponential decay right PSCF has a exponential decay so in that case which model you should select remember just now we have discussed you should select the MA model come back here look at MA model your SCF will have a significant fall from the zero suddenly there will be cut up but PSCF will be exponential decay therefore you select the, for this type of data you select the MA model of order 2 because here two clear visible SCF graph you can see standing line you can see so here Q equals to 2 so MA model of order 2 now come back to this graph now third graph here you can see all are negatively correlated right not a matter it can be now suppose in that case if you see the data SCF will have a single cut single standing line look at here PSCF has a cut off same same then in that case here also you need to select the MA model because PSCF has exponential decay SCF has a cut off because error terms are saying that this model is more suitable for MA process or this data so SCF has a single standing line clearly visible standing negative side but clearly standing line and look at the your SCF is cut off now has a clear clear clearly closure to zero look at this so you don't need to select more than one error just only one error so here the order will be one in that case what will be model model will be y bar plus gamma gamma into because only one error into epsilon t that's it because only one error you have taken what will be the model for this it would be y bar hat equals to y bar plus gamma 1 into say epsilon say if it is t say t plus gamma 2 epsilon, error t minus 1 or t minus 1 t minus 2 you can put say this is t so this way you can define your order 2 of error this model will be this model will be AR model it would be y hat equals to alpha plus only one standing line is visible so AR model of order 1 alpha plus beta into y t if it is t then t minus 1 that is it simple one order regression this is the MA process of two error term because two, two you know standing line is visible from ACF graph and PSF has exponential decay this is MA process of order 1 because only one standing line is visible from the ACF graph and PSF has exponential decay but ACF has a clear cut of sudden fall because there is no impact now you are not getting any impact suddenly it is falling so older error will not have any impact to your current forecast only one period error is sufficient to your combination with the mean data now look at this case the four last case here you have the SCF exponential decay but PSF has a cut off so which model to select again in this case you select the AR model because here the PSF has a clearly visible standing line but after that closure to 0 so you don't want to take more than one order so it would be AR model of order 1 in that case what will be forecast forecast sorry forecast would be alpha plus beta say yt minus 1 regression right it is a regression because AR model direct regression auto regression you are doing because PSF has a clear cut up and SCF has a exponential decay done so these are the illustration of a correlogram from SCF and PSF. Now for any data if you can see this type of graph with your python or you know excel or any kind of graph I believe you will be able to understand these graphs gives AR process or MA process this is the most, most important part how to select the order of a model AR model or MA model. Arma is not difficult I will discuss that later after the break but you will get to know the most of the data will follow either AR or MA so in that case how to select the order of a model the p for air process q for ma process the lag for air process it is the actual older data how many older data you want to consider in your model and finally in auto regressive model and finally you conclude the model and run the model in ma process how many older pre error you want to consider with your mean and you want to make a average weighted average combination or end up for a corresponding forecast through error term in ma process that is in illustrated here now i believe it is clear to everybody 
how to read the air process and MA process and choreogram, SCF and PSF and how to select the order of a model of air and MA. Now, let us take a break. After the break, we will discuss the aroma process.